Okay, here's the problem, data development analysis problem set up on Excel Solver. Notice we've got the decision variables up here, weight on management, weight on marketing, weight on accounting. This zero is nothing, and that's the variable E right there. Um, first we've got the weight constraint. Notice that that's the sum product of this row multiplied and added to this row. And that has to be equal to the right hand side of 1. That sum product formula then was copied down throughout. And one thing you should notice is we've got E on the right hand side for FTE and budget. 9 times H23, H23 is where we have E, and likewise 320 times H23, right there. So let's go into the solver. This has already been set up. Notice that E at H23 is both a variable and a target cell. We're minimizing E. D23 through H23 are the changing cells. We've got non-negativity. G25, H25, uh, that was the weight constraint. And then we've got the output constraints, the three output constraints and the three input constraints. And if you go to options, I should have a similar linear model checked. And I've got already non-negativity in there. so. That's taken care of. So we should be able to hit solve. So solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. So notice that E is 1 when we solve this. And the weight on marketing is 1. So uh, there's no evidence that marketing is inefficient. So let's keep that solution. But on the previous video, I suggested well, what, what happens if this was actually 15? 15 FTEs for marketing. So we'll change that to 15. We'll change this one to 15 as well. On the right hand side. And let's go ahead and run that again. So tools, solver, and run it again. Okay, notice a new solution. The E is 0.9375. E is less than 1. Therefore, there is evidence now that marketing is inefficient. And as I said in an earlier video, that management strictly dominates marketing on every criteria. SCH is better. Research is better. Grads better. FTE is lower. And the budget's lower. So on every attribute, management's better than marketing. And that's why it ended up with a weight of a 1 on management. The lower the E, the more inefficient the DMU is. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that there's a company called Baxia that produces a software called Frontier Analyst. And it's a very idiot-proof way to, to do uh, data development analysis. You can download a demo and run it to see how it works. But basically, you don't have to use linear programming at all. It's, it's underlying in the model. All you have to do is put in the data, like I have it here, say run, and well, you specify which are outputs and which are inputs, and then it basically tells you which DMUs are inefficient versus efficient. Very easy to use. So if you're going to be running lots of uh, DEA models, I'd suggest looking in the Frontier Analyst with Bansia.com.